I blame God. Because when I came home from school with the lunchbox and mini bear, my uncle stood in front of me and gave me a cold stare. Told me to go upstairs and wait there. I did just that, but curiosity had me scared. More scared than being locked in a casket filled with tarantulas dead. As he came upstairs, the end of my room, his smile was cold. He stared at me and told me to take off my clothes, but I said no. But he forced it off me and told me to do as I told. I cried, trying to break free from his tight hold, but he's too strong and wouldn't let go. I screamed, the tears began to flow as I watched my uncle taking off his clothes. As he rammed his impurities into my purified soul, I felt sick of being a patient with full blown AIDS flowing out of control. I cried like a child having nightmares and afraid to close his eyes. Cry like a child by his mother by his side. Cry like a child with walls surrounding him. Cry like a child a deep end of the pool, but it's his tears he's drowning in. I blame God. Because after my uncle playing his video game, he calls for my name. I be hiding under the bed praying that his mind has changed But it never goes my way so God is who I blame Because as I'm being dragged on the floor he treats me like one of his whores As he videotapes me for a sexual game Every time I look at him my stomach turns his back on him It's like the devil on my shoulders I'm running laps with him Cutting my tongue gave me reason why I can't chat with him And when he think about molesting me I pray that his manhood and everything else collapse with him I blame God no bath of cloth can wash away the shame Because I could keep washing and washing and still for the same I was an 8 year old child crying for help I'd rather die hoping he feel how I felt like Cutting my arms and licking him with my veins Cutting my chest open and forcing my heart in his eye sockets Passing his optics so we could see my pain Some say I'm a saint and I guess I am because the definition of insane is traumatic experiences entering your skull, eating the inside of your brain. I was so mad at God, I wanted his blood dripping from the sky. And every time I look at myself in the mirror, the mirror cries, I blame God. Every time I near my uncle, I throw up. And just when I'm about to hang myself, God shows up. He said you want to die, you think that you should. But what the enemy meant for bad, I could turn around for your good. Then God took me to the universe and showed me planet Earth upside down. He said every time the world is spinning around, every chain that was bound on the youth are falling to the ground. When your uncle wanted you dead, I kept you alive. And when you cried, I sent angels from the sky to wipe the tears from your eyes. I know you're going through it. I even protect you from receiving AIDS from your uncle, but you never knew it. You thought I abandoned you. But your thoughts are not in my thoughts, neither your ways my ways. Wisdom, I love you. And I would never leave you, nor forsake you. And before you entered your mother's womb, being victorious in every area of your life, is how I created you.